hello children let's start with the maxima new topic maxima and minima okay suppose you draw the curve like this this one i am taking see okay take a point here tangent parallel to x axis if the tangent parallel to x axis f dash of c will be equal to 0 you draw here how you it is showing if you take a point here and draw the curve like this it is increasing so it is increasing function take a point b here okay one more point and draw it what is happening it is from here if you drawing it shows a decreasing so for increasing function f dash of x is greater than 0 and f dash of x is less than 0 for decreasing function is it take a point this is a c and here it is a and here if you draw the drop here it is will be point b is it so f of c is it the here what we say f of c here is it c f here and draw the graph here so it will be f of c f of a will be if you do here then here if you draw the perpendicular and the perpendicular and y axis is it then it will be f of a is it same it will be here so it is f of b is it what we get maximum value of f of c is it maximum value of you to get the value of uh, maximum value point of maxima f of c is greater than f of x f of c if it is say it is f of c is it f of c is greater than f of x for every x belongs to a b then it is called a point of maxima is it this is a point of maxima it is this point it is called point of maxima what is a point of maxima the point of maxima is that f of c is greater than f of x is it f of c is greater than f of x for every x belongs to a b open interval a b is it clear if you take anything here say c and draw it here and draw here so what you'll get say 2 so that will be f of c f of x is it if you take first point here c then it will be f of c and it corresponding to that touching from the graph from the curve it will be f of x or is it f of c or f of x is it so that is called f of c is it clear is it it can be here if you say 2 suppose 2 is it if you draw it here and here you will get f of x so f of c is greater than f of x for every x belongs to a b open interval a b anything belong in between if you take any f of c what it will really always be greater than what f of a and f of b value between f of a and f of b then there is a maximum value you see draw the curve here now like this you see like this you see parabola you see okay here it is parallel to x axis so f dash of c is equal to 0 draw the curve here is it tangent here what you will get it is decreasing see decreasing function and take here it is increasing function got it f of c the minimum value of f of c f of c is the minimum value of f of c here it is a maximum value of f of c here it is a minimum value of f of c is it the this c is called the point of minima and f of c f of c is less than here if you see this point is less than the point on the this curve or this curve what it so f of c is less than f of x for every x belongs to open interval a b is it this is called the point of minima so what is a definition let f be a function defined define on a interval i then f is said to have a maximum value in i you see if there exit a point c in i such that f of c is greater than f of x for every x or all x belongs to for all x belongs to i for example take f of x is equal to x plus 1 is it okay f of c any point 
then you take f of c will be always greater than f of x f of x is this and if you take 1 then it will be 2 if you take 2 it will be 3 got it clear so all will be increasing function and f of c is greater than f of x for every x belongs to i what is actually f of c c is a critical point you have to find some critical point is it where it becomes zero is it and from that value every other value is greater than then then it is called a increasing function or maximum value in n what a clear understand so we have to find critical point. how to find critical point we, uh, we have to equate it to zero you understand now you have to understand that c is a critical point where it is become zero here it is zero see critical po point it is zero and the rest this one and this one will be more than the critical points is it and in this case this is a critical point say here say for example one two three four what is your critical point four is it what is your point this less than that three so what we got f of c is greater than f of x is it in the interval you understood or not again see here f of c don't see f dash it is f of c suppose f of c is here it is parallel to x axis f of c f of c is what if you say 1 2 3 4 this 4 what is f of this one f dash of x here 3 here also 3 which is less than f of c which is less than f of c so f of c okay so f of c is greater than f of x these two are f of x f of c is less than in this case this two is greater this two point what we have taken it is a b we can say is greater than f of c here it is point c this is negative okay this is say maybe zero so this is increasing this is maybe one say you can say it is a one so f of c is one what is of this two point this will be greater than one so f of c is less than f of x understood so f is said to have maximum value in i if there exit a point c in i such that f of c is greater than f of x for every x belongs to i for example f of x is equal to x plus 1 the number of f c whatever value you will get f of c is called the maximum value of f in i and the point c is the point of maxima f in i got it point c here point c here suppose it is one so one is a maximum value here four four is a maximum value okay. so f is said to have a maximum value in i if there exit a point c in i such that f f of f of c is less than f of x for all x belongs to i for example if it's say f of x is equal to one minus x substitute one so zero two minus 1 so it is f of x f of c is less than f of x so the number of c is called the minimum value of f in i and and the point c is called the point of maxima okay sorry the point of minima of f in i okay the number of f c is called the minimum value of f in i and the point C is called the point of minima of F in I. F is said to have extreme value in I if there exit a point C in I such that F of C is neither maximum value nor minimum value of F in I. The number F C in that case is called the extreme value of F in I. For example, F of X is equal to X where X belongs to 0 to 1. Got it? Even if you put 0, it will be 0. If you put 1, then 1. So it does not have any minimum or maximum value. And therefore, that it is called an extreme value of f in i. Now, geometrical representation of a local maxima and minima. Is it? If you draw the curve like this. Here. Okay. Here, f dash of c is equal to 0. Why it is 0? Because it is parallel to x. Take some point c1, say c1. 
and in the neighbor root of c1 say take c1 minus h okay and c1 plus h is it okay what do you get c1 minus h so this will be the maximum value you are in the neighbor root little less than c1 you are taking okay so it is less than so c1 minus h this point okay here you are taking and here you are taking that is c1 plus h this is c1 this is going up it is going up okay here so h c1 plus h if you see this point okay this distance is h so what will be this distance will be if this distance from here to here is h so what will be this point it is c1 so it is going back so c1 minus h and c1 this is distance h so here only measure so c1 plus h so this point will be c1 plus h okay understand so you take a small quantity h in a neighborhood of c1 similarly so take c2 is it so what will be here in this case this is h you are going back so c2 minus h you are going up c2 and this distance is h so c2 plus h is it so this two point also you got here so take some take some neighbor root interval of c1 say h c1 minus h and c1 in neighbor root of h you take c1 minus h and c1 plus h see so implies is f dash of c1 if you take c1 it is greater than f x f f f of x any in value in the neighbor of it neighbor root of this this c1 is greater than any value f x is it in the neighbor of root for all x belongs to c minus h in this interval c minus h comma c plus h is it because it is a for c it is it is this c1 is maximum here then it is decreasing it is increasing it is okay but here it is reached to maximum which is c1 and here it is decreasing here also it is decreasing so c1 is greater than f of x for all x belongs to c minus h and c plus h and c2 is less than here is c2 got it it is a negative no here if we say negative here it is positive here also not positive but more than that this is negative more so this is less than so f of c2 is less than f of x for all x belongs to c2 minus h and c2 plus h i hope you understand this this is a maximum point here this two is what more than that how more than that because we are talking about negative cross not trough okay cross and trough you know crust and trough this is trough this is crust okay here f of here f of c1 is greater than f of x for all x belongs to c minus h comma c plus h then c1 is called the point of local maxima and f of c1 is called the value of local maxima and f of c2 is less than f of x for all x belongs to c2 minus h and c2 plus h then c2 is called the point of local maxima and the value of f2 f2 is called the local minimum value of value of f is it now definition let f be a real value function and let c be interior point in the domain of f then c is called the point of local maxima if there exist a h greater than 0 and h greater than 0 such that f of c is less than or equal to f of x for all x in the interval c c minus h and c plus h is it in place of here c1 what you have to take c and c c got it c you have to take then it will be what will become c minus h and c plus h so that is actually in definition c is a point of local maxima this is called local maxima got it when when it is called c is called a point of local maxima if there exit an h in the neighbor root okay h greater than 0 h should be greater than 0 such that 
got it a greater than zero means crushed got it greater than zero such that f of c is greater than equal to f of x for all x in c minus h and c plus h the value of f of c is called the local value of f is it and the point c is called the local maximum point local minimum maximum point and f of c is called the local maximum value of f and c is a point on local maxima if they exceed an h greater than 0 such that f of c is greater than or equal to 0 for all x in c minus h and c plus h the value f of c is called the local minimum value of f is it